Here is what I think is the best loadout for beginners in Helldivers 2. I'll show you why and we'll go through a mission today. So starting off with our armory, I think the best primary weapon for beginners is actually the SG-8 Punisher shotgun. It has a huge magazine, it does a ton of damage, and the recoil obviously very manageable as a shotgun. I think it's actually stronger than any of the other like starting weapons that you can get pretty easily. I'll show you all why and we'll, you know, I'll go through them as well. And then for your secondary pistol, I think the P19 Redeemer is a machine pistol. It's definitely better than the beginning pistol just because it's fully automatic. It does the same amount of damage, but it has a bigger capacity and it has less recoil and a higher fire rate. So it's just better overall. And the grenades, this is more personal preference, but uh, this is like a grenade that you can get in the early battle pass. And then this is your starter grenade. I like this one just mostly because of the fuse time. It explodes. Um, a lot quicker, almost a full second quicker, which means that, you know, if you throw your grenade and then bugs walk away, um, this one will have a higher chance of killing them. However, it does do a lot less damage, 250 less damage, so this is better for, like, light stuff, and this is better against th those stronger bugs. So, I will show y'all where to get these if we go into acquisitions and go to our first war bond, the SG-8 Punisher shotgun is right here. It's only like four medals, so basically everyone can get this right off the bat. This is like one or two for the G6 frag, and then in here is the machine pistol. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I don't think it was that expensive either. So that is what I would say for your armory. Um, if you don't like those, there are a couple other good options. I mean, the marksman rifle is not too bad. Even just the general assault rifle is pretty good. I would say the submachine gun feels awful. I wouldn't use this. The recoil is definitely too high, and it doesn't feel like it does very much damage, and the capacity just disappears extremely quickly. So I definitely... I'll, I'll show you the shotgun, though, in a second, and we'll figure it out. So moving on from here, let's go to our, our stratagems. Actually, most of the stratagems are pretty good, but I would say so for your first, for your support weapon, I actually, like, starting out, I'd say the machine gun is really good. You don't even need to get, like, the anti-material rifle or anything in there. The machine guns are really strong. It can take down uh, big enemies, and it has an extremely high rate of fire, but you're actually going to want to change that. I'll show you how to do that in a match in a sec. And then, honestly, I wouldn't go for the orbital cannons. What I would go for is the eagle uh, from the hangar. And, you know, if you can get the cluster bomb, but, you, you know, that's a little bit further down, I would go for the airstrike. I don't think the strafing run is too strong just because it mostly only kills small targets. Um, I would go for the airstrike. This also is able to destroy nests, which is really strong. So definitely go for the airstrike. I actually think the orbital precision, precision strike is also very good, especially for closing nests. And yeah, so I'd go for the orbital precision strike. And then for your last one, it's sort of up to you. But I think the machine gun sentry is really strong. If you can, get the Gadling or even the mortar sentry. But again, those cost more and they are, you know, further. So you can definitely get the machine gun sentry if you're a complete beginner. And it feels very strong. So the four I would run with is the machine gun sentry, the orbital precision strike, the, uh, and the eagle uh, airstrike or cluster bomb. So now that we are on the planet, I will highlight the different parts of the build and why this loadout is so strong. So first we have our shotgun, uh, and we can actually call in our machine gun real quick so I can show you how to increase the RPM. But it, if you look at that, that's a big, pretty big bug. The shotgun has a long range. I mean, it really is pretty ridiculous for a shotgun. So for increasing the RPM on the machine gun, you're going to hold down R and then right click, and then it goes from 760 to 900 RPM, which is way better. As you can see, the machine gun is really, really strong. So we can pull this in. That's the orbital strike. It comes pretty fast. It should kill them pretty well. Absolutely destroyed them. Now we can call in the eagle airstrike. Let's just show you all what that does. We actually got to back up because it comes real fast. Okay. And then you can rearm your eagle. Okay. This is a shotgun. It has a huge magazine. And then we can highlight the machine pistol as well. It's definitely way stronger than the normal pistol. Uh, just way, way better. So, anyways, that's all the weapons. That's basically everything. We'll show the machine gun sentry on extract. Oh, there's a sample. Take that. Uh, 
Uh, on on extract, usually it spawns in a bunch of enemies, so the machine gun turret is great for that. You can also just drop the machine gun turret. As you can see, the range on the shotgun is actually insane. Let's take a look. Usually there's like some ammo and uh, sometimes some samples actually too. But let's call in our machine gun turret just so you can see it in action. I shouldn't put, I meant to put it up here, but that's fine. But it does rotate pretty slow, but it absolutely destroys them so fast. Ideally you would have it up here though. I just messed up. Also, when you see beacons like that, that means there's like samples over there, generally. Oh my goodness. Man come from nowhere. I don't even know where he came from. That's crazy. Our orbital strike over there. Anyways, this loadout should allow you to do uh, even easy missions on like solo. I wouldn't suggest it because co op is just generally uh, better because you get more XP and it's easier. But you know, if you're more of the solo player and you don't like playing with other people, this loadout will work just fine for you. And uh, yeah, remember to take your time and Use your stratagems whenever you can, especially when you're gonna fight like nests and stuff like that. It's cool because you can actually see them come down. But yeah, I mean, usually sh you wouldn't think that shotguns are really good in games like this, but because you can run away while reloading. Oh, I guess we forgot to show the nades. The nades are like decent. They're not great, but they're pretty good. I mean, I blew up all those, so. Make sure you aim in with the shotgun. It doesn't feel very good when you're not aiming in. But anyways, there you have it. There's the loadout. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun this week, guys.